Welcome to this Schooling Online production. This early Stage 1 Science for Kids series presents engaging narratives that make learning about science informative and fun. Over five lessons, children in kindergarten learn about Core Topic 3, Physical World. Children will explore the physical characteristics of objects and how these characteristics affect the way they move. They will learn that objects move differently when pushed or pulled. This will introduce children to the fundamental ideas of force and motion. They will also develop core skills for working scientifically. This story will encourage children to observe how different animals move, depending on their size and shape. In Lesson 2, we will focus on the key inquiry question, what causes objects to move in different ways? Today's story is Elephants Can't Fly. Nala and Ellie the elephant are playing together in the sun. Ellie is lifting Nala on her big, strong trunk. She flings Nala onto her back. Whee! shouts Nala as she flies through the air. Let's do that again, she cries. I love flying. But Ellie has stopped playing. Her trunk has flopped to the floor and her big leathery ears droop around her face. What's wrong, Ellie? Nala asks. I miss my little butterfly friend, Bettina, she sniffs. Whenever I think about somebody flying, it reminds me of her. I wish I could fly. Oh, that's sad, Ellie. Why can't you see Bettina? Because she lives in another country. There is just so much land and water between us. I can walk a long way on my four strong legs and I can even swim pretty well, but I definitely can't swim all the way across the ocean and I can't fly across either. You're right. You can't fly. Elephants can't swim across the sea either. You have long, thick legs and a big, bendy trunk. You would sink in no time, Ellie. I know, Ellie sighs. I can only walk and stomp and swim a short distance. It sounds like you really miss her, comforts Nala. But what if you could send a message to her? I'd love that, Nala. But how? Ellie cries. Well, you have lots of animal friends, right? Well, yes. So, your friends can help you to deliver a message to Bettina. But how can they do that? inquires Ellie. Every animal moves differently, you see. Some of your friends can move across land and others can cross the ocean. Maybe they could deliver your message to Bettina. Great idea! trumpets Ellie with her trunk high in the air. Ellie's loud noise startles Fabio, the frog, so he comes to find out what all the ruckus is about. Boing, boing, boing. Fabio hops from one rock to another in a clear, still pond. So, calls Fabio, the frog, what's all this noise about? We're looking for some animals to do a special job for Ellie explains Nala. Would you like to be one of them? Oh, yes, please, croaks Fabio happily. It would be such a pleasure. I want to send a message to my friend Bettina the butterfly, but she lives a long way away. Could you please deliver this message to Wally, the humpback whale? Your bendy legs can help you hop all the way to the ocean where he lives explains Ellie the elephant. I don't normally travel that far, but I'm glad to help, he croaks. What's the message? Ellie gently whispers the message to Fabio. Got it, he shouts as he hops away. Boing, 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 he goes, hopping from one rock to another on his skinny, springy legs until he reaches the seaside. Wally, he yells. I need your help. Can you please take a message to Benny, the Bengal tiger? Benny lives a long way away, right across the ocean, in fact. 
Who's the message from? Wally bellows in his loud whale voice. It's from Ellie the elephant. She can't swim across the ocean herself, you know. Oh, yes, that's very true. But I can swim a long way because my body is big and powerful. Leave it to me, Fabio. So, what's the message? Fabio tells Wally the message. Then he swims away with strong swishes of his huge whale tail. Until... He reaches the shore and calls out to Benny. Who's calling me? yawns Benny as he wakes up from a nap. It's Wally! I have a job for you! he yells. Benny runs over on his four strong legs. Hi, Wally. I haven't seen you in ages. What can I do for you? Ellie the elephant wants to get a message to Bettina the butterfly, but she couldn't come herself because elephants can't swim very far. Oh, yes, true, true, Benny agrees. So, can you run with your strong legs until you find Bettina? You should be able to reach her in no time. That's a good plan, Wally. I can't fly, but I can walk and run on my four legs. That's more than me. I can only swim in water. We all move so differently, comments Benny. Now, tell me the message and I'll find Bettina. Wally whispers the message to Benny and then slips back under the water. Benny runs off on his four legs right away. Oh, Bettina! He roars. Suddenly, a beautiful blue and black butterfly flutters towards Benny. She is so little and light that her tiny wings can carry her through the air with ease. Left and right she darts, flying through the air in all directions. She settles her tiny body on top of a bush. Yes, Bettina breathes. Her voice is very soft. I've got a message for you from Ellie the elephant, Benny pants. A message from Ellie? cries Bettina. Oh, how lovely. But she is so far away, right across the ocean, she exclaims. How did you receive her message? Well, Bettina, all her animal friends helped to deliver the message. First, Fabio hopped the message to Wally the humpback whale. Wally swam all the way across the ocean to deliver the message to me and I ran through the trees to deliver the message to you. How wonderful, Bettina sighs. But what's the message? Let me see. The message from Ellie the elephant is, Dear Bettina, I'm having a big party next week and all the jungle animals are invited. Ooh, a party, squeaks Bettina, excited. But how will I invite all the animals in my jungle? Nobody can hear me. Oh, I know, she squeals. I'll stomp like Ellie to get everyone's attention. Oh dear, mumbles Benny as he shakes his head. Butterflies can't stomp. In today's lesson, we learned that different animals move in different ways, depending on their size and shape. Elephants stomp around, making a loud sound. Frogs are very fond of hopping in a pond. Humpback whales swim with strong tails. Tigers run along because their legs are strong. Butterflies have tiny wings that help them with flying. We hope you enjoyed this Schooling Online production. Check out the other stories in our early Stage 1 Science for Kids series to improve your child's understanding of the physical world.